And have you ever wondered how traditional pension funds are adapting to the rapid rise of digital currencies? And it's a bold new frontier where age-old financial institutions meet innovative technologies like Bitcoin. And recently, Michigan's state retirement system took a daring leap into this uncharted territory with a hefty $6.6 .6 million commitment to the ARC 21 shares Bitcoin ETF. They're signaling a watershed moment for pension funds. This decision isn't just about trends. It reflects a seismic shift in institutional investors thinking regarding cryptocurrencies. Uh, this move marks only the second recorded venture by pension funds into cryptocurrencies uh, following a similar initiative from Wisconsin earlier this year. Uh, the Badger State revealed its 162,505 years. Uh, uh, the picture, the, the, the big investment in Bitcoin tracking uh, assets uh, showcasing a collective shift among state funds. Uh, interestingly, it's retail investors who have been flocking to Bitcoin ETFs in droves, pouring over $32 billion into these new financial products in just six months. Analysts from Vetifiers are now on the lookout for how institutional interests might shape the future of crypto investments, particularly as more states embrace digital currency. And then taking it a step further, Jersey City's Mayor Stephen Fullop recently announced an intention to allocate 2% of the city's pension fund into Bitcoin ETFs. While no timeline accompany his this bold statement, it illustrates a growing enthusiasm among public finance officials across different states. However, this enthusiasm doesn't come without caution. The landscape of crypto investments carries significant risks. For instance, Montreal's pension fund, CDPQ, suffered substantial losses when its investment in Celsius tanked during the firm's bankruptcy in 2022. Such cautionary tales echo loudly in the ears of institutional investors weighing their auctions in crypto. And what's going to happen in other pension uh, and what are the conventions, what's going to do is what's playing there's lower, uh, what's going to do and, and really uh, what remains a big customer, uh, traditional finance and modern investment strategies uh, may become less of a divide and more of a, a collaboration. Uh, and so what's the takeaway here? As pension funds dip their toes into the crypto waters, one can't help but wonder why don't cryptocurrencies ever get lost? Because they always have a blockchain to find their way home. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.